Oh, welcome back to the Drift of Watts Farm SE map by my good mate Clint Watts. Very nice little map. And before we really get started, we'll just have a little look around. I don't think there's anything fresh I've done. Mind well, just a day or two since I've played on the map for obvious reasons, my wife's accident. So you have to forgive me if I've got anything here wrong. And I think without further ado, shall we get back into character? Well, it's another day stuck here. Now, I can't quite understand why I can't climb these cliffs. I get about halfway up. And there seemed to be a barrier stopping me. I have no idea what's happening. I've tried numerous times to get up those cliffs, and each time I fail. But I've been told that the, the farmer wants fields 5 and 9 fertilised. Now all of that is find out where everything is, of course. And I've still got my little tractor which I will try and get going sometime to, uh, in the near future oh this box will be put away again he said not to use the uh, bigger stuff he still doesn't trust me I can't understand why nice no, I think I can use this one with the sprayer. Depends what sprayer we've got here. And I can, let's find somewhere to put this. Right here will do. This is a very odd place. It's in 21st century America. Yet all the equipment is mid 20th century, or oh, not all of it, but a, a large amount of it. I haven't made a very good job of parking this here. And he will only get upset if I don't park things in here quite neatly. I don't really want to get up, upset. Alright, let's unhook it. Oh, just remember the course, everything is on. Yeah, out of character for one second, I forgot, because I haven't put manual attach on this. All right, back in the character. Uh, let's see if we can find the fertilizer. Now, I'm not certain if we've got any eggs or... No, no eggs needs collecting. I just say it's early in the morning again. I just cannot sleep. I'm spending a large part of the night wandering about, trying to find answers. Ah, uh, there's a sprayer. Now he's, say, he's saying he's going to put lights all the way around his farm. And I've got a horrible feeling that's to keep an eye on me. Now where do we... Ah, there it is. Well, it's on. What's that? It doesn't look... Oh, it is attached. It just didn't seem to have attached correctly. Right. Five, oh, yeah, we've got a full tank of juice of uh, spray. Now, this is the dangerous bit. We're going up near his area. You'd think with the inclines on this farm here have far better equipment. Now, I'm not certain if this will take it yet. We'll, we'll again, we'll find out. Let's. Unfold. Well, well, let's, let's see. I want to come out of cab. Oh, not that far out. Whoa. Uh, 
uh, image will that drop uh, no it's just fixed by the looks of it yeah it's just fixed right and before we go any further further I just check if it is doing anything the pit around here seem otherworldly no, it's not. Doesn't look like it's taken. We've gone a bit further. No, it's not taken. So let's come off here and see if nine will take any. He looks like he's got me on the fool's errand. I should fold this up, but what can he do to me? What can he do? What's worse than happening? There? Well, kill me, I suppose. I think we'd better fold it. We'll come to the the trees. Just as long as he doesn't want me to chop trees down. I dislike doing that. I am not a lumberjack. But what he wants will have to is what I have to do. Until I can find a way out. I said the one road in and out it's guarded full time. Why? I did ask him about anything in the sheds. The clothes sheds. No, there's nothing in there. Here you find anything. You can have it, he said. Laughing. So, I'm going to take him up on that. I'm having that to... Ursus. Uh, No, oh, great fun, of course we are uh, making a real mess in here, but let's have a look, see if us. No, that won't take it. That's going to please him. I'll... No, what's the chance of driving? Absolutely none, is there? Right, in that case then, I am going to go back to selling. He said he wants everything sold as well. well let's have a drive round whilst we're, whilst we're here. This looks like another one of his fields up here. I'm still trying to learn my way around. I sit up full freedom in the valley, but I just can't get out. As you can see, it's it's very hilly and or well, mountainous even. <laughs> let's, let's face it, it's not hilly; it's mountainous. And the girl in the uh, office. Uh, he, a guy I asked whether he was married and whether he had any children, and his answer was no. So who is the girl in the office? Is she another slave? Could it be that she's a slave for his more base instincts? Again, I have no idea, but I must find out. But I've been warned to stay away. All right, I think we're gonna. I think I'm gonna see if I can pull that thing with the old uh, twin cylinder beast. Oops. Oh, hold on. Must switch switch the engine off before I disconnect that. And of course, you can do it from there. Just park this up. I will have to hunt through some of these other sheds. I didn't last night. I had yet another attempt of scaling the cliffs, but to no file, I just cannot get much above halfway.
I will have to clean the animals too. All the cows, the only animals he's got a lot. A wasp talk of a. And if you can hear bleeping in the background, come out the character for one second. That his message is coming in. Must probably from PCSG. And that's someone at the door. <laughs> if you heard the doorbell. Not staying in character very well today. I'm badly out of practice on this. Right, let's see if we can get some else sold. And the funny thing is he's not worried about how much he gets for the stuff. He just says sell it. Which does not make much sense to me. Well, we're hooked up. Let's see what we've got a lot of. And then we'll find, we'll load up, then find somewhere to sell it. Then I'm going to have a go at that Ursus. And I'm going to have you with me one night and we'll see if anything occurs overnight. Uh, wheat, 6,000, sun half barley. Right, corn. Oh, we must well clear the wheat out. Well, half the wheat out. No, find somewhere that wants it. He taught me how to use this contraption to find the best place we. Oh, look, canola. We have to sell the canola off there. Well, there's only fa fairly great. Oh, flake and bake for wheat. That. Right, flake and bake. Now, where is flake and bake? Ah, I think it's near the shop. Have we got any eggs? Uh, we could go and sell some eggs off. That's about the only money I'm making for myself. One, uh... Just the one. I don't like the angle these things run at. Let's see if we can get that on the other. Hook. Should really hook up to the... Whoops, don't wait. Should really hook up to... No, refuses to. Alright, let's make a way to flake and bake. High speed delivery service. That's the other thing. This thing, I know from studying old American machinery, this thing had a top speed of about 9 mile an hour in its high day. And that was really absolute max, normally near a 4 or 5. Not 17 mile an hour. What is happening here? I'm going to tip this off. I'm going to get that Ursus going. Beggar what he wants done today. Yes, I'm scared, but I'm also getting to that point, and I'm certain most of you know of it, that you just go beyond being scared and you just don't care anymore. And look at the weather, it's going to be hot, hot, hot. There is phones about here, but none of the phones seem to go to the outside world. They're all internal. I've tried, you cannot get a line out of the the town, out of the valley. Uh, oh, we got, oh, we got another five pound. Oh, it should be five dollars, of course, but uh, who's counting? Whoops. Uh, 
this should be like and bite this I hope it is if it isn't uh, sold it to the wrong place he seems also stones in suspense all day away from the farm oh, there's milk sales I wonder if they've got any milk once selling two things I want to do I, I want to just try and see if I can cream off some of the money for myself I'm going to need it if I ever get out of here because who's going to believe that I've been held prisoner in a valley This is almost like that book by H. Ryder Haggard. This is almost like Shangri-La. Except there isn't a she in charge. There's a he. And here we go up here again. Let's see if we can make this hill... Well, I decided to come up the steepest part. I'll park this lot under this boat to do, possibly do more later, but I want to get that Ursus going. I also want to see if we've got any milk. Let's have a look at the milk first. There's a conundrum here. Old equipment or and small equipment. Small I can understand, but old equipment which isn't behaving like old equipment. A valley you can get into but not out of. Alright. See if we can get any more here. That depends whether there's any more. Doesn't look like there's any more in here. No, that's it. Double check. Yeah, the milk. That's it. That's all the milk we've got. So we'll leave that alone. And you look at that. It's in such condition that a, a dealer would give you a small fortune for that. Is that a Model A? Not that I know my American trucks as well as I know my tr American tractors. Modern silo system. Very, very modern. A fermenting silo which seems badly out of place here. Cattle which just need cleaning, but I think they'll wait until tomorrow. Alright, we'll get this under the spout. I'm not going to load it up yet because I haven't decided what we're going to do. I think that uh, rape wants selling, but. Uh, at the price it's making. But that's about all we've got to do. Is it doesn't seem a lot of work yet. I just wonder if there's going to be any help later in the year. I have feelings there won't be. And there she is in there again with the the light on. Hmm. Why has she got the light on all the time? Nothing makes sense. There we are under it. All right. All right, I want to walk across. Oh, she's away again. I want to get the uh, 
tractor out. So I can get it started and get it maintained. And get some pearl in there. That won't go down too well. There we go. Take some time to get it warmed up fully. Again, this thing is ridiculously quick. I'm not so certain about the Ursus, but the uh, certainly the Field Marshal, you're lucky to get much more than 10 mile an hour out of it. 12 head road gears in. But field gears, you'd normally run about 3, 4 mile an hour. Let's just fill it up and give it a clean, and then, and then we will run. And we will uh, give it a uh, service. Right, well that's... Yes. I may even use this to do one load. I don't want to start it anymore and get the uh, get the toolbox so if it hasn't been moved it's cleaned up well I've been doing some work on this overnight Found things like bulbs and uh, other oddments. No spark plug, of course. It's an oil, it's an oil burner. Not a, it's a two-stroke diesel engine. If you can get your head around that, it will run on almost any combustible fuel at all. Oh. There's my toolbox. Still got some seed in here. Right, I'm going to leave you for a few minutes while I just to service this. You don't want to see me try and service this thing. Oh, welcome back. I just finished service and it's, you know, hopefully it will go a lot better now. Let's, uh, pick up my toolbox again if I can, uh, find it. Put that back. It's actually quite simple to service. Shut that up again then. We'll give this a run out. On the trailer. So even this, which he says he doesn't know anything about, or doesn't know of anything in the sheds, it's not um, Eastern European equipment of the mid 20th century which would be about 19 the 1950s possibly into the 60s field marshal certainly finished before then i mean, just leave that ticking over i don't really want the job starting that up again 
So we just unhook this. out of cab because it can't pick up where we're going <sighs> certainly it's loud and you can't mistake it Very quick. I wonder how many gears this thing's got. It should only have about three speed. I'm going to go in both field marshal, which being British I know better than most. So let's pick up the rape. Get rid of that. Get rid of some of that. And where can we sell the rape? Well, oh, the big, the big money's going there. Fairly grinds. All right, let's find out where Fairly grinds are. Oh, should have kept on this one. Oops. Lake and bake. Oh, that's the one behind the lake and bake. Right, we have to go through there. Excuse me, I don't know my way around. Look, I've got this map and I've got this. PDA which will show me where to go but this is a ridiculous speed for this but I think we can get this out of the valley which will mean going through the only road here I could have a worthwhile vehicle to sell to collectors this must be worth a barber too right what uh, as I said before I'm going to bring you back overnight for the next one and we will Keep watch overnight and see if anything happens. I'm certain I keep hearing things at night, but I just cannot be certain anymore. Right, no, no, it's struggling. Will it make the hill? Oh, of course it will. It's about uh, 20 or 30 brake horse in here. A oh, real break horse. Well, which one is the Valley Grind? Is this Valley Grind? Well, there's only one way to find it, and that's to go in there. Well, it looks like it. it looks it could well be a grain plant. And where does all the produce go? I haven't seen any vehicles go in or out of the valley, and I hardly seen any other vehicles about here. Through farm vehicles, but nothing to take this lot away. As I say, nothing is making sense at all. There's this guy fishing. He won't say a word. Let's try a guy and see if I can get him to talk. And what is he?
He's got his scooter there now. I wonder if I could run up with that. Hello? Catching anything? Uh, hello? It's just ignoring me. It's as, as, as if either I'm not here or he's not. I've never seen him catch anything. Not a thing. Yet he's got a modern scooter. And we know Stone's got the modern uh, pickup. Right, I think we're ended there. Uh, honest, more questions than answers. If I just take a screenshot, we will do a wind down. Um, I think I have it running. We might just get a look at the smoke coming out. And thinking about it, I should really be out of be in the vehicle but out of cab at the front here to start it and this thing should you should actually use a blow lamp to start it from cold heat this bulb right out the, up at the front here tell you we haven't got um, uh, oh, if I find out uh, And, oh, of course I'm not connected to it. Let's just connect to it. Hmm. Bring that back, that's better. Now, let's go through what I was going to talk about now. Hmm. Ah. Now we're out. That's better. Right. I'll just uh, have to keep the course play up. This bulb at the front here should be heated right up. Uh, this is heated up with a blow lamp. A little bit of quick course on how these things work. They're very low compression, about 3 or 4 to 1. That's about all they're running at. But they run, this gets very hot. And it should be hot all the time. That's what ignites the oil in there, which is why it's a two stroke. It fires every stroke. We'll get rid of that again. There's also other ways of starting them. Uh, there's most probably a crank handle to go on this side, I would say. Again, I've gone on to Field Marshal, which I know a little bit more about. The Field Marshal also had a system of uh, a cartridge start. This hasn't got it. That's got indicators so though. Most strange. Right, we still ain't took that still into that photo, have we? So it's talking about that. No. Get a photo. I have to look up these things. That's no not a bad shot actually. I'm saying actually rather right at the moment. So with that I'm gonna say thank you very much for watching. If you like what you saw, please consider leaving a like. Now I'm back into full, well, almost full production again. Don't think I'm going to be back full production for a while. Oh, look at the smoke there. Um, I, I, I'm trying to keep up the production level. We have got a hospital visit. Uh, the day after this goes live so might be missing one or two more again hospital visit of course for the wife to check out how she's doing after her uh, gymnastics in the bathroom uh, for those who haven't heard she cracked two or well, she broke at least two ribs and managed to deflate a lung yes clever girl 
Anyway, with that, I'm going to say thank you very much for watching. If you like what you saw, please consider leaving a like. If you're not a subscriber and you don't want to be visited by Stu Bates, my uh, enforcer, please subscribe. Because I'm not, I'm not afraid to release the Stu. And it's a horrible sight when you see him. He really can look fierce. I hope you don't take any of that the wrong way, Stu. If you've got any comments, questions, queries, or even suggestions of old machinery you found which would fit in here, uh, feel free to uh, post them. I will take all of those aboard. Oh, that's all right, it's there. Shut it all. We're going to leave that there. That does look quite nice. That looks not a bad model. Muck on the tyres doesn't look very realistic, but uh, overall it's a rather nice model. I wonder if someone can convert that to a field marshal for me. Yeah, any modders out there who knows what a field marshal looks like, doesn't matter if a series one, two, or three, possibly not three, there's very few that was ever produced, and only one ever sold with electric start. A little bit more knowledge for you. Uh, yes, feel free to post in the comment section. Uh, join PCSG or oh, and Free Dudes Gaming uh, Network. Both very worthwhile, and we both treat everybody as an adult until we're proved wrong. And then we will come down heavy on you. Certainly at PCSG, we will. If you mis misplace our trust, we trust you to a act sensibly. And we haven't really been upset too many times so far. Uh, links to PCSG is in the description. I'll try and put one to the Three Dudes Gaming, which is my, which my good mate uh, Doug Zorley is a part of. He's community manager or some such, or community liaison or officer. No, I don't know what that means. I really do uh, Doug does. But, uh, and because my good mate Eustace Farmer is there, uh, Gritty Bear Sims, Jerry, as you all know Jerry, what you should do, if you haven't been watching Jerry you haven't lived, but he's off air just at the moment. Alright, with that I'm going to say uh, cheerio for now, cheerio.